Hi peeps. Today we are having an unboxing in my back office. Yeah, this is my back office. Yeah. Voldemort is over there. We're not talking about him, but he's there. But we're not discussing him today. All right. Unboxing of a Lectom DVD player. Okay, peeps. I was drowning this week. Because my Bad Betty DVDs, the special edition that I've waited literally two years for the series and about four months for the DVDs to come out, arrived. The box was beat up, both sets. I was not happy. I thought, you know what, I can deal with the boxes being beat up. But two weekends ago, I had a friend over and we were watching the premiere showing of the Bad Betty DVD set and it wouldn't play. And we tried to make it work in the all region DVD player that I have, and it just won't play. So before throwing a bad buddy fit, <laughs> I did submit a case to PayPal though, because I'm like, you know, I try talking to ETICD, they want me to send everything back. I'm like, if I send everything back, that's going to cost as much as the bloody DVD set cost. No offense, but no, I'm not doing that. So anyway, I thought, but before I just throw up my hands in the air and go from smiley face to brownie face, I'm going to get a new DVD player because it's been like about three years since I purchased a DVD player. I'm going, it's about time you got a new DVD player. And so I purchased this Electom off of Amazon because it came with a additional $3 three-year warranty. And this is the DVD. It is an all-region DVD player. It also has a USB port. It also has a special air correction feature for DVDs, so it will play them in high definition, even if they aren't high definition, and tries to correct Skippy. Big perk, buddy DVD set, which I'm going to try in it. It also is supposed to be less noisy than other DVD players when you play the DVDs in it. And I didn't have to buy an extra HDMI cord because it came with one. Although, in my house, I have HDMI cards a crazy amount. But anyway, it also came with one of these, which again, because of what I do for a living, I have way too many of these. But still, didn't have to buy one if you don't have them. And it also came with a larger remote. This is actually a DVD player promoted for the elderly, which I'm not elderly, but I liked it because when me and my friends are watching DVDs and we're trying to find like the, the subtitle button, on most DVD remotes, it's so tiny, you really have to look for like five minutes to find it. It's right here, pretty big too. And it says subtitle, fully spelled out which I really like. And it's not a tiny remote you can lose in the sofa crack, for example, which big perk there for me. So it also comes with, I really have no idea what this is. Okay. And those handy dandy user manuals we put in the file box and never look up, but give us such comfort to know they're there. <laughs> So anyway, I am going to plug this one in to my room because I think I'm probably falling asleep to bed, buddy, to see if this corrected the error. I don't know, I can just close out that case, which I'm really doubting that's the problem, but on the slight chance that it is, that would really just make my week so happy. So anyway, that is my review of the Electom DVD player. It is also pretty reasonable. It's about, it's a little under 30 US dollar equivalent, so it's not very expensive. And it's very lightweight. That's the other thing that I liked about it when I read the reviews. They said, you know, if you do need to pick it up and go somewhere, you can fit it in a suitcase very easily, which I'm gonna be doing pretty soon. I'm like, I finally got my office exactly the way I want it. I mean, I'm going to have to do a podcast on my office because it really is no bad days. I mean, it's just absolutely wonderful. I have my Bad Buddy special posters that I ordered from India and I'm not sure, but somewhere else in Asia. I have my WBL posters here. 
I have the BTS logo cards Bob had and I had here. I even have my I Do We Loved in House big poster here with my stitch and all these cute little doodads. And I'm like, it's taken me three years to get my office exactly the way I want it. And now I'm getting ready to move. I'm like, <laughs> no offense, I'm very glad to move. Don't get me wrong. I'm like, it's going to be awesome. Once I move, I will be working less, sleeping more. Who knows what will happen with more sleep? <laughs> so anyway, I'm very glad that I'm sitting here going, I just got it fixed the exact way I want it. And now I'm packing stuff up again. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. But I think in general, even though I have not tried this yet, I'm going to be very happy with this lovely DVD player. And if it does play my Bad Buddy DVDs and keeps me from having to ship the bloody things back to Thailand, which I'm not doing if they want me to do that by your expense. I'm like, why would I pay a hundred dollars or equivalent to ship something to you only to get a hundred dollars or so back? It makes no sense logically. So anyway, we have to come up with a better solution. But this is my temporary stopgap to see if it fixes it. And that is my review of the Left Home DVD player. Check it at the round table. Bye.